guys and girls. I have a special Halloween wig treat for you. I am a fan of Game of Thrones and Daenerys Targaryen is my favorite character. For Halloween, this is who I'm going to be. I have found the perfect wig for this character. It's by Otri, the Iba wig, in color 613. Best of all, this wig comes braided already at the top. So your work is half over. You can just wear it like this, or you can add more braids and integrate those braids in the back with the others. I love that because you can sort of customize the style. Make it as full of braids as you want. This wig retails between $45 and $55. I suggest that you Google search to see if you can find the best possible price. Well, let's get started taking a closer look at this Targaryen find. What I really love about this wig is the soft lace front and 13 by 6 parting space, which of course is where the pre-made braiding occurs at the top. You also have combs so that you can anchor this wig into your biological hair for extra security. You also have this built-in strap, which I love. This goes around the back of your head, again, for extra security. You can also tie this in a knot to make it tighter if you need to. In the back, you have another comb at the nape to anchor this into your hair as well as these hook adjustable straps, which can tighten the circumference of the wig cap. Now, my head is 22 inches in circumference, which is considered average. And this wig fits me perfectly right out of the box. I don't need to tighten the adjustable straps. But if you have a petite head size, you certainly may need to. I do feel that this wig would work well for someone with a slightly larger than average head size as well, as it does have some room. You do have to be careful when you're braiding that the wefts do not show on the sides. I recommend putting the wig on your head to braid it if you'd like to add more braids, and if you can have a friend help you braid, even better. You'll want to secure your two new braids with a hairband or use some kind of string or thread and tie a knot. I have my nude stocking wig cap on and now I'll put the wig on. So you just have to take a minute to adjust it. You may need to shave your sideburns if the wig cap doesn't cover them completely or you can always bleach them. I suggest using Got To Be Glued. This is a super strong styling gel that a lot of people in the wig community, including myself, use to lay our lace fronts down around our hairline. And I recommend using this to do just that. Put it underneath or on your skin at your hairline all the way around and then press and hold the lace front around your hairline down until the bond adheres. Now you can also use a headband to keep the wig down during the drying process. 
If you find that this doesn't work, you could always purchase spirit gum. Spirit gum is used by people in live theater to keep fake mustaches, fake eyebrows, fake beards, and also wigs. You can purchase spirit gum on eBay. It's rather inexpensive. If you do, you absolutely must buy the remover because this is a professional product. It is an extremely strong adhesive. It does not come off with warm water and soap like the got to be glued styling gel does. You can use liquid foundation to cover up this darker lace front if you choose. I have a video on how to do that and I will leave it in the video description box below. If you have any questions or comments about the wig or how I styled it, please leave them in the comments section below. I'm more than happy to answer. If you've created a Daenerys wig, we would love to hear your experience and advice. Well, thank you so much for watching my wig video. Take care. Bye-bye.